You are all enablers. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's time for some more Yakuza tonight, and it's time for us to get back to our boy Kiryu. Uh, it's it's my favorite time of the week. Not just because it's Friday, because everybody loves the fact that uh, Friday exists, but also the fact that I'm really getting into Yakuza, and I'm happy that we're playing this series, and I'm happy that we're back to this. So, time to continue from where we left off. Hey, Nishiki. Okay, uh, it's been a long while since we played Kiryu, so I need to remember everything he has. He's got a plate I can sell, an Opa Opa figurine I need to store. You can probably replace the katana with, or the, the lightsaber with, uh, give him a, an umbrella. don't think we have anything that we can invest in right now. I think everything else is way too expensive. Unless there's, like, something that's two million I can dump into. But I don't think that is the case. Everything seems to be 30 million. Let's see. Rush. 30 million. Yeah. Doesn't look like I can get anything from Rush. How about Beast? 30 million. All the two millions are all locked behind training. All right. Well, what I think I'm going to be doing, definitely, is getting Kiryu trained up. Alright, let's see. Batting cage. Oh, man, the disco. We need to go all the way down there. I 
俺に服を見立て頼むってことはセンスねえって自覚があったんだな余計なお世話だほら別に無難に済ませてだけだよお前も適当にやれるよ<笑>ニシキ you gonna back me up? Oh wow, he actually will、uh, fight alongside you. I want a drink! Right, let me see. I need to. Was beast. Oh, yeah, slow and heavy, but it's like good for clearing crowds. I think I'll just stick with Brawler, though. Oh, right, I probably should have seen what the heat move for the umbrella is. Oh, well, next time we get into a fight. Okay, let's see. That is the arcade. That's the bowling alley. I guess we probably should go get a change of clothes before we do any of the side activities. Nah, that was pretty standard. Excuse me, sir. I would like you to take a close look at my foot! Come on, Nishiki. Show him who's boss. Like this. Come on, DBG, press the button. You mean this one, Dragon? Ka? <sighs> You're all bad influences, you know that, right? Ah, great. Looking to fight? Uh oh. Nope. Just the standard one. Where are you? There you are. Ooh, I know how to finish you off. See this motorcycle? No, you don't! No. ああ。これじゃなんていうか貧乏人っぽく見えるんじゃねえかなら、おめえにぴったりだな。うるせえな。お、これなんかどうだ。バカ、おめえ、それ絶対やめとけ。選ぶんじゃないかとは思ってたけどよ。
気こなすにはセンスだけじゃなくて手間も必要だおめえみてえに無頓着なやつだと服に着られるのがオチだたくめんどせそれじゃあこれはどうだ色は落ち着いてるがラペルがピークドで意外と派手に見えると思うぞ白かさっきの柄物に比べりゃマシな方だろうよしこれ試着してみろよフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ<笑><笑>これでいいえおいいいのか全然リーマンっぽくなってねえぞ小田には服を何とかしろと言われただけだやることはやった文句言われる筋合いはねえさそっかよしわかったそこまで言うならそいつは俺のおごりで兄弟の新しい門出だしな何言ってんだあ花から俺はお前のおごりのつもりだったよ。なんだそれありがとうございました。付き合わせて。He radiates no bullshit, dragon. ああ。お前、この後待ち合わせなんだろう。立花不動産の。なんてやつだっけ。オダダキサルプスで会うことになってるそうだったなところで気をつけろよキリクゼがお前をぶっ殺して生きまいてるらしいぜ霊の剣で指を落としてから相当起きてるだろうな危なくなったらいつでも声かけろよじゃあまたな Okay, it's about time to meet Oda. Pretty sure Cafe Alps is on Nakamachi Street. I should get moving. And that is all the way over there, which you know what that means. Time to goof around because we do have some side stories I need to take care of. Also, I need to turn in that plate to get some more money. Here, give me the katana. I want to see what that heat move is. Uh, let me see real quick. Defense 4, Blade 3, Firearm 3, Defense 7, that's still better. Energy, that means I get more heat when I'm close to death. Card Watcher, Black Belt. Defense 2, Blade 1, Firearm 1, Incredible Strength when throwing opponents. Okay. Gotta warm up the old saying voice. Not exactly. First things first, I gotta warm up these fists. Hang on, I see a bike. That's not a bike. This is a bike. Come here, come here. Oh, don't you knee me in the face. Get out of here. I just, you suck with the bow and arrow and Gorn. And why do you say that, dragon? Oh. I was like, that looks a little out of place. I feel like that's probably like a uh, side story or something. Oh, 
It is time to reclaim my title as the master of disco. Alright, where are you? I've come to dominate the dance floor and kick your ass. Both at the same time. Now that I got the Superfly suit, no one can beat me! That actually really fits the dance floor a lot better than that black suit did. He's just hogging the entire thing! Ah, still short. So many arrows just going over other guys' so shoulders, and guess what the bonus objective for one of the free for alls is? Uh, shoot people with bows, I'm guessing. No. It's not over until I'm done with the disco. I will dominate the dance floor. But when golden arrow, I'm guessing that's like a ran uh, a rare random arrow that you shoot. He goes hogging the entire dance floor again. I hit the button in time game, what are you talking about? Come on, don't choke at the end, Kiryu! Oh, we still won anyways. Then you give it to you along with the bow before you start the free for all. But the objective is to kill ten guys. Uh, to uh, kill ten guys with that arrow. Ah. Well, you just got to be better. Just like how Kiryu is better at dancing. 
See, if I can dance disco, then you can shoot people with arrows, dragon. Just have faith. <sighs> that was really something. Heh, <laughs> not really. Oh boy, you wiped the floor with me. <laughs> What's wrong? Did all the dancing shake your brain loose? No, I'm so happy I can't keep myself from laughing. I haven't danced like that in too long. <laughs> That's good to hear. It's all thanks to you, my brother. Brother? What's wrong with that? After all that, what else can we be? We danced wild, we danced hot, we danced together. Huh. Is that how it works? It's exactly how it works. I knew my eyes weren't deceiving me. You got a legit taste, my uh, legit talent, my brother. Maybe, maybe you can even take him. Hmm? Him? Oops! Me and my big mouth. Just forget it. you heard a word, brother. Nothing to do with you, yet. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, I don't think I ever caught your name. It's Kiryu. Kiryu it is. I have a feeling you're going to be a big uh, name in the world of dance. <laughs> Whatever. All right, brother. I have to go. I'll be looking forward to hitting the dance floor with you again with you. Uh. Sure. That boy, Kiryu, he's good. <laughs> but maybe not quite at my level yet. Hmm, suspicious. Hulk Hogan busts out with a bedazzled suit and bandana. <gasps> now here's the thing, is the bandana also bedazzled? Make you mine, want to take you home. Let's go with, I'm gonna make you mine. Course it would be. Now he's truly hogging the entire dance floor. That is such a weird combo, holy hell! Damn it. Ah, almost. I did my best. Alright, let's try a different song. Let's try... I want to take you home. An 80s rock classic. Oh man, the funk is here.
Come on. I didn't even see that up there. Wow, that was... Mmm. If I dressed like the Mario Bros, what color scheme would I be? Honestly, I could see myself in a Lu Luigi outfit. In fact, I actually had myself in a thumbnail for uh, Luigi. Let me see if I can find it somewhere. I think it's still got it with me. I think it was with the uh, Halloween stuff. This was an old uh, thumbnail art I did for the Halloween series back in the day. That is not the right one. Uh, let's see, there, where are you hiding? Maybe you're here somewhere. Uh, let's see, there it is. So yeah, uh, this was an old, uh, old, like, uh, thumbnail art I had for when I did the Mario Party, uh, Halloween boards, or the, the horror boards, I guess I should say. But yeah, I can always see myself in, like, a, a Luigi outfit, oops. Hi, Moon. I mean, my own color scheme, separate from the bros, probably be the usual orange and blue. Uh, I guess it would just be uh, green and blue for me. But maybe like a like an olive green, not like a Luigi green, just like a, a more olive colored. Time to see if I'm the Disco Queen. I swear, if this is just like the, the Japanese version of Dancing Queen, I'm going to lose it. Give me that disco fever. Really need to work on the timing, too. Look at his moves! Ah, damn it. Ah, so close. Thinking that 2D overalls, but gray with your shirt and hat to match the hoodie in the profile pic. Yeah, go wild with it, dragon. I I just feel like uh the gray. For, uh, mm, I don't know. I just feel like gray would be too much of a boring color. I, I, that's why I said, like, all of green and blue. Alright, 
Well, my time here at the disco was fun, but it also was very brief. It's time to go and work on my vocal cords now. I also still need to sell that plate. But here's the question, Dragon. Why are you asking? Are you just curious? Oh, right. I also need to train. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Probably should train a bit because it's actually before the karaoke. idea for 3d world i need to know who's joining in for it uh you could ask rez he might be up for joining 3d world i just haven't had, ch had a chance to ask him you yeah, have not great the abilities oh i need to upgrade really i only got five million on me Where is it? Where is it? There it is! It is time. This is the wrong building! This is the wrong building! I am getting out of here right now! Where the hell's the karaoke bar? God damn it. <laughs> TOS. Here, have an Opa Opa figurine. It's adorable. It's about as safe as it gets. Doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Here, take it back. I think that actually, that raised the bar pretty high with them. There it is. It is time for me to sing, but not just any song. No, I must sing a song about, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, judgment. You know, I reflectively had to look at the stream just to make sure I didn't actually have the Kappa Chroma keyed out again. God damn it, wrong button! Ooh, so close. Hi, Nishki! Oh, that's fast! Ooh, that was fast. That one part where it sneaks up on you, it just, you gotta be ready for it. I think I did better than I did the first time, actually. Then again, I think I only saw it uh, once before, and that was like during the prologue.
All right, because you know I have to. I'm sorry. The memes compel me. Let's see what they got. I don't know, Dragon. Honestly, I kind of feel like Tamo would be more of a Rosalina player. But then again, I think you have to, like, play late into the game to actually unlock Rosalina. Damn it, that one's fast. Damn it. It was in the circle. Oh, God. Moon, I'm glad you're home safe. Holy hell. So close. We're doing good, but I think once I went to hit like the music video portion and sped up, that's when it kind of screwed me over. Ooh. Well, Moon, it, it's your Friday, so you don't have to worry about going anywhere. You get to stay home, stay happy, and stay safe. And that's all that really matters. Alright, what's that? That is... Oh, that's a... I, like a phone thing. Shoten, oh, that's Shogi. Mahjong. Where's the arcade? Or an arcade. Probably should stop by and see Bob. Drugstore. Where the hell's the pawn shop? There it is. <laughs> Excuse me. I need to talk to Bob. Hi, Bob. You got got anything for me? No, you don't. I do believe I... Yeah, I got a lot of CP I can exchange. I guess these guys have a lot more money on them. Uh, money magnets. Uh, what's business? Uh, I can't do anything with business yet. Get quick change clothes. Get more money when you defeat Mr. Shakedown. That's pretty good. Gather more money from enemies. Money magnet. Gather more money. Yeah, more money. More money is always good. <laughs> oh. Where's the producer? If he doesn't show up to the location shoot today, we're screwed. Well, we had a huge argument with the director at last sh shoot, remember? He's probably still butthurt. Yeah, our director is something else. He won't budge an inch, even when it means butting heads with the producer. I heard a lot of the crew can't deal with him either. Maybe it'll be a strike. 
Oh, well, whatever the reason. If we try to shoot on location without the producer, the director is gonna be uh, is gonna really boil over. Maybe we can find someone who can stand in for him. Oh sure, someone who can stay calm and cool when taking all the crap the director dishes out. We need a, a guy with an aura of toughness, a guy who can command respect just by being in the room. I guess guys like that aren't exactly a dime a dozen, huh? Yeah, you're right. Not like a guy who can do all of that is just gonna waltz down the street at us. Huh? You rang? That bold demeanor, the aura of unassassinable authority, unassailable authority, and the faint hint of danger. That's our man! The poster child of a producer just walked into the scene and into our lives. Wait, please, wait! Our savior, I mean, you, sir! You with the cool aura and magnificent poise! Yes, yes! I mean, you! May I have a minute? With the production crew. We're the production crew on a TV show. What would a television crew want with me? Yeah. Well, we're gonna be shooting a short segment at a restaurant here in town for a gourmet food program. But we're down a man, and we're desperate. Will you help us? Daddy. What? How could someone who doesn't know first thing about the business be useful to you? Yeah. No, no, no. With the aura that magnificent, you don't have to do anything but stand there and look authoritative. Whoa, I, I can't see! Your aura's so bright! It's dazzling! This reeks of BS. No, honestly, we're not trying to pull your leg. We're dead sincere about this. We'll do all the heavy lifting. Well, actually, we may ask you to move some things to help with some of the simpler tasks, uh, tasks, but... Helping out on a TV show, huh? I guess that's not something everyone gets to experience. Please, it has to be you. No one else can do this. They aren't kidding about being desperate. Should I help? Ah, uh, fine, I'll help out. But I better be on TV, damn it. Fine, I'll help out. If it's not going to take too long. That's great! Thank you very much. Oh, my name is Mori. I'm the director's assistant. And this is Kawaguchi, our cameraman. Hi, I'm Kawaguchi. Delighted to meet you. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. So, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Well, the show's producer, uh, producer is supposed to be here, but something came up at the last minute. He can't make it. So we need you to stand in for him, Kiryu-san. Wait, what? I don't know what a producer does, but isn't that role pretty important? <laughs> no worry. You might think that, but all a producer really does is act all high and mighty. It's a total fluff job. Is that it? I have no idea what I'm doing, though. People will know I'm faking it, won't they? Not to worry. Once we get you into some clothes and more ex executive style, you'll be a total password producer. You mean producers have a look? They sure do. Let's get you looking like a big shot. But I just got these new clothes! Ugh! Oh, it's ugly! Oh, why is he wearing pink pants? I love it! Oi. Guys, do producers seriously dress like this? <laughs> Absolutely! You're a picture-perfect producer! Isn't that why, right, Kawaguchi-san? Hey. Uh, okay, so what am I supposed to do? Well, our director is on the way, and we have need of you to do... And all we need to, you to do is deal with him and keep up with his demands. He can be, uh, kind of a diva, and he says some weird stuff, but just try not to set him off and you'll be fine. Mm, I'm having second thoughts here, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Fucking hell, can I just go one day? Hi, yes, hello. You should be here any minute now. Oh, the director's here. Here he comes, Kiryu-san. You're up. Try to act natural. Act natural. Got it. Uh. Of course he'd be wearing those thick black rim glasses. <laughs> Ciao, lovelies. Good morning. Mori Chang. Gluten Morgan, baby. Uh, Gluten Morgan to you, too. 
Don't ever change, Mori-chan. I'm counting on you today. Bling bling cha ching baby. Oi. What in blazes? Where's our intrepid producer? Where is my... Lita-chan. Sorry, Lita's son called in sick this morning. Kiryu's son here will be standing in for him today. Uh -huh. Kiryu, never heard of him. He the real deal, baby? Hi. Yes, of course. Kiryu stands does a lot of work on location overseas. He's the first domestic shoot in a, uh, this is his first domestic shoot in a while, and probably why you ha don't recognize him. Very well then, say la vie. <laughs> I don't care who you are. When you're on location with me, everyone has to pull their weight. Capiche? Kiryu san, this is our director, uh, Papalian Kadoch san. I'm Kiryu. Good to meet you. Mm, he's stiff as a stiff. You dragged this guy out of the river, boys? I guess what they say is true. People in the television business do seem to be pretty shallow. This guy's irritating, but I'd better play along so he doesn't act, uh, doesn't get suspicious. Ah, uh, yes, hello. You are now Mr. Please Punch Me in the Face. There's a problem, Kiryu. If you can't return a simple greeting, you're history in this business, lad. Figures. A proper greeting is important in every walk of life. What should I do? Observe etiquette, uh, discourage disrespect, or get goofy. Well, we gotta be... Uh, we gotta give off etiquette. No screwing around. I need to follow etiquette here. Director Papillon Kato-san, I'm deeply honored to make your acquaintance, sir. Whoa! I just about lost my lunch, Kiryu-san. I thought you were a Yakuza for a second there. <laughs> Holy wow! I'm counting on you today, Kiryu-chan. Cheers! I did the greeting that came naturally to me, but it went over okay, I think. So, anyways, where's that babbling bit of window dressing? She's on deck for the dining report. Window dressing? Is that TV jargon? Hi. Yes, about that. Our reporter, Nakasawa-san, is running a little late. Uh, eh? What the fuck? What the fuck are we here? It was your job to lock down the talent. You did that, didn't you? S sorry, I forgot to get her the schedule in time. She's on her way right now. You incompetent imbecile! If we go over one, go over on time, we'll be screwing over the restaurant. You're a nice guy, Mori, but this shit doesn't cut the mustard. I'm sorry, sorry, Mr. Director. What a change from a cheesy goofball a few seconds ago. Guy's got one short fuse. Oh, here she comes. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late. No problemo, baby doll. We're as patient as pie. Ooh la la! Don't you look ravishing today? Oh, Kado-san, don't be so silly. Okay, gang, let's split up. Let's get this party started. Silvos Piet. <laughs> this guy makes me want to punch. Him. Everyone wants to punch him. Apparently, I hope this ends with me just suplexing them into a hot plate. Fantastico! On your marks, everyone. Let's roll it. Oh. Mon what the hell is this? Where's the erasable? Oh, sorry, we'll get it. Sorry, Kyu san. Can you grab the erasable from the table there and bring it over? Erasable? I can check what's on the table. That's a start. Sure, hold on. I'm no culinary artist! Some pretty random things on the table. Which one do I take? Erasable must have something to do with the props. We got the food, we got an eraser, and we got a knife. Uh. Mm. 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 Erasable. Not eraser, so I guess it would be the food because it's something that's erasable and able to get rid of. We'll take the food. The erasable is this! Hey, brought the erasable. Thanks, Kiryu san. Set it on the table if you would. Got it.
Oh, that looks tasty. Doesn't it? I want you to savor it. Now, let it linger on your luscious lips. This shot will be my tour de force. Thanks, and sorry for making you bring it over, Kiryu-san. Heh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But boy, Kiryu-san, I'm sure glad you figured out erasable is what the crew calls in consumable props like food. Yeah, I figured out that food is erased when it's eaten. Brilliant! That shoot's going smoothly, thanks to you. I managed to be useful somehow. <laughs> wow, that looks delicious! There's so much, but it looks so tasty! I could eat it all in one sitting! Good, the shoot's going along smoothly. Pardon me, Kyu Chan, but we do ha have to still, uh, but we have to still life in that erasable later. So, would you be a doll and grocer it for me? Uh, sure. Grocer the erasable. What could that mean? Leave only to. Uh. Mmm. 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 Uh, I I don't know what grocer means. <laughs> Fetch a grocery clerk. I don't think that's the right one. Uh, tilt the food at an angle, make it look more presenting, maybe? Grocery, huh? I got this. Heh. <laughs> that's a great looking grocery job if I do say so myself. Hey, I grocery it. Brilliant! Thank you, Kiryu-chan. Let's take a look. Magnifique! The erasable is angled like a grocer's display. When you grocer a prop, it means to tilt it at an angle, like a grocer displays produce on the shelf. It's easier to film still life like that. But you knew that, of course. <laughs> yeah. I managed to get it right. I still want to suplex him, though. Thank you for a wonderful meal. It was delicious. The shoot's almost done. Sorry, Kiyu san. Can you jeer these props? It's about time to s to strike the set. What does jeer these props and strike the set mean? Taunt the dishes, remove the dishes, or. <laughs> I, I think it is. Let me just go around and start punching dishes. Alright, I think it's uh, remove dishes. I got this. Thank you, Kiryu san. I'm sure glad you knew that jeering means putting props away when you strike the set. It was obvious. This way, we can clear out as soon as the filming is done. That's smart thinking, Kiryu san. You're looking ahead to whatever needs doing. I'll hail the world's best producer! Yeah, right. No, seriously, you're really helping us out. Looks like I got that right. I still, I pro I really wish I could have at least seen what would happen if I punched the dishes, but I didn't want to screw this up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. That's a wrap. Let's blow this Papa School stand. The shoot's over, I guess. So does this mean I get to keep the outfit? Oh, I hope so. I hope so, Dragon. You do not know how much I want to suplex him right now. Damn it, he's gone. Oh, wait, there he is, I think. Kiryu-san, you saved us. You know showbiz lingo like a pro. Heh, <laughs> no problem. I had fun with it. It was something else. It's rare to see a producer who can take charge on location like you. Please accept our thanks. Magnetic necklace. I'm gonna guess that probably lets me get more money from fights. You have all the makings of a great producer, Kiryu-san. We would, uh, we would love to have you back any time. What's going on here? Producer Lydia! Did the shoot go down okay without my- without a real crew? The producer? What the devil? Why would you even bother showing up? Huh. You need it on a teleprompter? We're here to beat some manners into you. 
This is for working us like saves, late into the night. Who the hell do you think you are? We get into broadcasting because we love television, but thanks to you, we don't have time to go home and watch TV. That's no way to live. What can I say? It takes blood, sweat, and tears to make a TV show. Fortify, gentlemen. Huh. <laughs> Big talk is always, director. Who made you so important that you can treat the producer like this? Huh? We've had it with you. This is why we boycotted the shoot today. We're on strike. Boycotted? More like you let your personal drama get in the way of work. You call yourselves professionals? Yep, all you want. This is the last time we will ever see you. So let's end this shit show on a happy note for us. Shit! Oh my gosh, what did we do? I got this. Huh? huh? Cure you? Boy. Hey, hold it. Eh? Huh? Who the hell are you? The name's Kiryu. I'm the producer here. I can't have people harassing my crew. That's my job. Kiryu-chan, I... Wait, you're my replacement? You just doubled my fun. I'll show you how irreplaceable I truly am. Come on, boys, we'll deal with this faker first. Well, I wanted to be the producer, but you guys are the, or the director, but you guys will do. Come here. All right, come on. Give me the sword. No, give me the sword. Give me the sword. I just wanted to be treated with respect! Nope, nope, ah, uh, there it is. Oh, that's just a kick. I guess it doesn't have any heat moves to it. Oh, you shouldn't have. Ah, damn it. Damn it, I wanted to get some more heat moves off on these guys, but oh well. D did they pull this guy off a bodybuilding show? Forget this! Kiryu-san, are you alright? Uh, yeah, thanks a million, Kiryu-chan. Heh, <laughs> it's the least an animature like me can do. So, you were faking it after all, Kiryu-chan? You knew? I'm no fool. I knew something was off the moment we met. You were a fish out of water from hello. Heh, <laughs> couldn't fool a pro after all. But if you knew, why didn't you get rid of me right away? Because, Kiryu-chan, you did the best you could with such a passion, despite not knowing a damn thing. TV is not a gentle mistress. A single minute or even second of footage can take dozens or hundreds of hours of hard work. The struggle is, as we say, real. The challenge demands an incredible level of precision, exper uh, experience, and skill. But there's something even more important than those, and that, mon ami, is passion. Passion. I believe TV gets viewers hopes and uh, gives viewers hopes and dreams. There are people out there who can be inspired by TV to change their jobs or even their way of life. I think TV is a medium that has the power to change people's lives for the better. You might be right about that. Most deaf. And that's why we make programs with passion, no matter how hellish the process may feel. As creators, we are dream weavers, and it's our duty to pass those dreams on to others. You're quite a director, you know that. <laughs> Pish posh. I'm about as overbearing. I'm about an over. I'm just an overbearing loser who can't even hang on to a solid crew. I want to bring the same passion I have to my work, uh, that I have in my work out to them, but I can never seem to get through to them. Yeah. Director Kato, what you just said, that moved me to the core. We have a lot of growing up to do. I want to do more. I want to make better programs. 
I want to create shows that bring people joy and inspiration. I want to change our passion into the art of film. So please, we want you to keep us on, uh, keep on us like you do. You guys. Huh. <laughs> Sounds you got, like you got through to them, don't you think? They get your old-fashioned sense of passion. Kiryu-chan, thanks, honestly. You truly are a great producer. So you won't stop giving up hopes and dreams, right? Uh. Oh, contraire, mon fier. We'll show you dreams you've yet e uh we'll show you dreams you've yet even seen in your mind's eye. Okay, boys, production meeting. Let's drill down a plan for some better shows from the top. Okay. What? We just wrapped! Have mercy! <laughs> what the heck does from the top mean? What, what is it with the- Aw, oh, I can't even keep the outfit. What is it with this game having characters that I want to suplex into a hot plate one minute, but then the next minute I'm like, You know what? Follow your passion. Push as hard as you can. You deserve it. Alright, I need to put stuff in the item box. Still got this medicine I might as well take out. Actually, I probably could sell the tissues as well, so I'm going to get those in here. But in the game, makes you have feels. Wow, that took me a long ways away from where I wanted to be. I'm just going to take a taxi. Hang on. Gotta teach some punks a lesson. Of course it's the men in black. Come on, carry you. Get out of here. You think Kiryu has gained a reputation at this point of beating people's asses in? You would think. Swiss watch. Not bad. They probably didn't recognize him because he was wearing a different suit. I bet if he was still wearing the black suit now, uh, they would be like, Oh shit, it's Kiryu, let's get out of here. Oh, great. <laughs> uh no. No. Please tell me that's not who I think it is. No, I think I know who this is, and I'm scared. Who's this guy? He doesn't look like a baker or a, or a barker. Hehe, <laughs> he looks shady as hell. Hope he leaves me alone. Hey there. Um, what? Telephone cards. I know you have some. Huh? Just give me a little peek at them. <sighs> Fine. Ah, eh, not bad. Ooh, look at the curves on this one. I need an adult. Kiryu, please, throw him in the traffic. Alright, I see it. Yeah, nice and clear. What are you doing? Me? I'm just looking at the cards. Why? You said you saw something nice and clear. Oh, yeah. I can look at a photo of a girl and see the whole shebang. The whole shebang? 
Haven't you ever stared at a girl's photo long enough that her clothes started to melt away? Huh? You know, you get a feeling of how she'd look naked. You just imagine where all the curves are and all that. Then you go to the club where she works and see if she really looks the way you imagine. Come on, you've done that too, right? Uh, no. Can't say that I have. Thick please more dressed this time, true. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, not even once. Are you a virgin or something? What? Is there really something is that really something you ask just ask people? <laughs> Didn't think so. Those th these days everyone gets it out of the way in the teens. Don't know anyone over twenty who hasn't done it yet. Huh. <sighs> if you find any more of those telephone cards with girls on them, let me see. All I need is a quick peek. I doubt I'll find many more. And who's to say I even run into you again anyways? I'm always at the various girly establishments getting my freak on. But in between sessions, I might have time to meet. That's big of you. How do you, how do you have the stamina to keep that up? Well, I'm known for my boldless energy, or my boundless energy. My name's Akimoto, but they call me Mr. Libido. Real men can go five times before they, they're they even warmed up. No kidding. All right, time to find a place to wreck the... Mm. See ya! You know what? Get to know Akimoto, otherwise known as Mr. Lib Libido. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship... I don't think I want that friendship gauge... Uh, friendship gauge... Um... Go going up you can check the status of his gauge on the companion list build up your friendship with him and see what happens no 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 I will not build up a friendship gauge ooh candy All right, let's sell this stuff and then we'll go see Oda. <laughs> I hate all the pigs. Hello, sir. What do you got for sale? Uh, let's see. Thirty. Uh, uh, mm. Killer B. Fifty million cheese. Nope, don't buy items, Kiryu. Kiryu. Sell. There. So the plates. So the tissues. And wow, that watch is worth a lot. There, there's Oda. Is he outside of like a pizza parlor or something? ちゃんと<笑> キリュウ。なんだこれ。伊達メガネだ。どんな面積だ。<笑> 
それじゃあ早速始めっかまず今からこの店で得意先のじいさんと待ち合わせてそいつが年の割に世間知らずの資産家とねどうもたちの悪い戦友屋に目つけられたらしい戦友屋あヤクザのくせに戦友屋を知らねえのかしょうがねえな戦友屋っつうのは平たくいや立ち退き料を目当てに建物を占拠しちまうやつらのことだ建物を占拠ああよく借金の方に裁判所で売りに出されるビルがあるんだがこれを競売物件という普通のデモのより相当安いけどこいつを競り落とすとその戦友屋がどっからか湧いてくるんだよで自分たちはこの建物から出ていかないぞと居座る連中の狙いはビルの買い手にデタラメな立ち退き料をふっかけることだ本当はそこの住人じゃないのにってことかそういうこともっとも戦友屋は大抵ビルの元の持ち主とグルだ戦友屋はせしめた立ち抜き料から元の持ち主に分け前を払うって仕組みになっているそれじゃあその戦友屋を力ずくで追い出すのが俺らの仕事ってことかいやそうはいかないんだか弱いビルの住人たちは法律で守られているんでね力ずくで行けば警察沙汰になるそん時捕まるのはもちろんこっちだけだおかしな話だろう結局ビルの買い手は理不尽な金を払わねえと戦友屋を追い出せねえんだ確かになけどその金をなるべく払わずに済ませたいってのが今回の俺たちへのオーダーだじいさんそろそろ来ると思うんだが先に店に入ってるかおっとその前にこれ渡すの忘れてた桐生君の名刺だよこれであんた立派な立場の不動産の社員だないいか今日はお前のサラリーマンとしての適性を測るあんまりなめたまねするようならきちんと社長に報告するからなわかった That's not true, Moon. You can still see his, make out his face, and it's not like a hide by shadow or anything. Anywhere I like, huh? Or is it good to talk business? Table up front. Let's see what else we got. Table near the back, table at the back, but. The oh, it's got an arcade on it! Mmm! Because it's fun! Uh, I feel like table at the back. I think maybe table near the back, but the table at the back has an arcade on it! Uh. What do you think? Near the back or at the back? Oh, wait. At the back. Alright, at the back it is. Oh, it's got Space Invaders! That's a two-seater, dumbass. What's the client going to do? Plop down on the tabletop? Oh. Damn it. Oh, poor Kiryu. He looked legitimately sad there. He wanted to play the arcade on the table. Fine, you're the back. This looks as good as any. I'll take the furthest seat. Usually when it comes to business transactions like this. まさか神座に座ろうなんて思ってないよな。入り口に近い方が下座で遠い方が神座。俺たちが座るのは当然下座だ。I knew that much. 
椅子に座るときは常に気をつけるようにしとけよ。わかった。He is so naive. いらっしゃいませ。ご注文はお決まりでしょうか。ああ、そうだ。え、uh, I'll get a coffee。コーヒーを。いや、注文はすれが来たからにする。また後で頼む。かしこまりました。先に注文する気だったんじゃねえだろうな。客を待ちながら優雅にコーヒーなんざすすってちゃう。I'm a terrible real estate agent。それがビジネスマナーってもんだ。そういうもんか。別に期待しちゃいなかったけどよ。せめて同じことは二度言わせんな。ええ、しかしめんどくせえな。何言ってんだい。ヤクザの方がよっぽど礼儀にうるせえぞ。上の人間ほどわきまえてるもんだ。お、俺、来たぞ。あのじいさんが今日の客だ。You know it's weird. I actually remember seeing one of those arcade tables at a restaurant I went to as a kid. Love the hell out of them. なんか面倒なことになっちゃって。I wish more restaurants had those things. Uchi no Shinjin de Kiryu des Yamano San Yuri Goira no Ken Koitsuma Yarasa de Itakimas. Eh, so this car. Oh, business card. Tachibana Fudo San no Kiryu des. Is all Meshko can why such no Kihonda. どんなに顔を打っても名刺を渡し忘れるようじゃその先の取引にはつながらないからなだが残念名刺が逆さまだと<笑>まあ初めてにしちゃ上出来だ大目に見といてやるよ桐生さんですかこれからよろしくお願いしますよこちらこそよろしくお願いいたします。Well, that's good to hear, Dragon. Uh, uh, I want to sit at that table so badly. Oh, oh, it's got nice comfort it seeks. Oh, I want it. なるほど。お話聞く限り、相手は典型的な専用屋ですね。山の井さんがそのビル落札したのは先月でしたか。すると専用屋が居座り出したのはその直前。ええ、まあ。戦友屋は一人ですね。はい。辻って男です。四十過ぎくらいかな。なんだかホームレスみたいな汚らしいやつでして。そいつから立ち退き料の要求はありましたかまだです。できればそのあたりの交渉も全部立花さんとこにお願いできればと思ってまして。私も年寄りですし。怖くてね。なんとかうまいことあいつを追い出してもらえませんか。もちろんです。時に山の井さん、戦友屋への立ち退き料いくらまでと考えてます。早いとこ済ませたいですし、そうですね。五百万くらいなら。五百万。勝手に座ってるだけのやつにか。それはまあ。安く済めばそれに越したことはないですけどもともとあんたがそいつに金出す筋はねえんだ俺ならビタ1万払う気になれねえなおい失礼だその辻って男自分にはヤクザがついているなんていうもんで揉めるとあとは怖いんですよお察ししますでもご安心くださいうちの気流はヤクザを扱うエキスパートですから。あ？ヤクザのエキスパート？いやー、こいつはなんていうか、ちょっと気合の入ったヤクザオタクでしてね。時々ヤクザになりきっちゃあいつに言ってるんですよ。な、気流くん。はあ、ああ、そうだな。ま、立ち退き料はできるだけ安く済ませますよ。それじゃあ頼めますかもちろん
あなた方への謝礼は別に用意しますからあそれはありがたいんですが立花から謝礼は遠慮するようにと言われてますいつも山井さんにはお世話になってますから本当ですかいやさすが立花不動産だやることが生きたねで問題のビルというのはどちらも天下一通りにある杉田ビルですわかりましたあとは我々にお任せくださいな桐生君ああ話は分かったな要するに戦友屋をビルから立ちのかせろってことだま交渉は俺がやるよ仕事の手本を見せてやるからな戦友屋のバッグにはヤクザがついてんだろ交渉だけで済むのかそこは俺の腕の見せ所だな差し当たってキリュ君君に最初の任務をやろうなんだ一っ走り、菓子折り買ってきてくれ。あ？相手が専用屋にしても、手ぶらで交渉ってわけにいかねえだろう。これもビジネスマナーってやつだ。またそれが。わかったよ。菓子折り買ったら、過ぎたビルの前に来てくれ。俺は先に行って待ってるから。それじゃ、また後でな。はあ。He said that the Tsukido building was at、uh, Tanakachi Street. Can't say the name rings any bells, though. The whole area is the Jima family turf, so I don't know it so I know, know it pretty well, but I don't remember any place like that. Might be tucked away in one of the smaller streets off、uh, Tenkaichi. I'll have to look once I get this gift box. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a quick break and get some water. And when we get back. Well, we're gonna have to ask a squatter to leave. With my fists! Because that's usually how Kiryu's problems always get solved. Alright, I'll see you all in just a little bit.
Okay, and I'm back. How's everybody doing? It's time for us to get back into the game. Uh, let me just readjust myself. There we go. Okay. Now, we could probably go... I think this place probably has the, the candy that I'm looking for. We'll see. Let's see. Champagne, baseball shirts, umbrellas, lumber, tires, spike tires, power gears. Sure, I'll buy all that stuff. I think that's for like the pocket racing circuit that's somewhere in Camarocho. I think it's off to the left side of town. I'll have to check. It's Shogi. That's Mahjong. That's bowling. That's arcade. That's baseball. Actually. There's a neater, easier way to do this. Karaoke, there's square, arcade, Choten. I think that's that place. That's the Mahjong, Maharaja, Vincent, telephone, bowling, batting. Ah, it's not here. Okay. So what I missed last stream because I think it was Jimmy Mori last Friday when you played this. Uh, so what you missed was me singing a lot of karaoke. Majima learned how to break dance to kill people, and Majima was uh, hired to kill somebody to get back into his family. That turned out to be a girl who was blind, and now he is left with a difficult choice of whether he needs to kill her or protect her. And also, we played Metal Gear for a bit. And that's all that we've really done uh, for Majima, and then swap back to Kiryu. Don't remember what, if anything else significant happened while- Oh, we went on a date! And the girl's father asked if he would want to date us. Ah, there she is. Ah, Kiryu! So you showed up after all! Uh. Yeah, I got curious about the training you mentioned. Glad you remembered. Can't trust a word that old drunk says, really. Hey, I'm not like him. Oh, relax. I'm just messing with you. Shall we get started? Sure, I'm all yours. My training method is simple. Just grab whatever you can and swing it around, and throw it until everybody's smashed to hell. Sounds like you're just taking your frustration out on things, but I guess there, there's got to be some more to it than that. Does this help you Im uh, impound furniture when you go to collect? Pretty much. It takes muscle and explosive force to grab heavy objects and swing them around quickly. This gives you the oomph you need. I see. No taking your time with it either. You have to be under pressure as if it's a real thing. There's no point in the training. Real situation. You mean when collecting the debt? I guess you're pretty used to a rough time. Hey, don't act like you don't know. I might even call on you to help me out sometime. Nani. Huh? You want me to go out and collect for you? Let's not jump any guns here. First, I want you to do this training and get the feel for it, alright? Uh. Yeah, got it. We'll start with a primer. This way.
The mannequins are filled with play money, which bursts out when you break them. The boxes have money in them, too. You have to smash all the mannequins before time runs out and recover a set amount of money. You good to start? Empty-handed while using the beast style to automatically pick up a nearby weapon. This saves a lot of time, so be sure to master it. Uh. You have 120 seconds. Ready? Go! I want my money. There we go. Finally broke one of them. What's this thing made out of? Oh, big crate, big crate. Ooh. And we're done. I wish this was real money, though. What do you think? Pretty tough training, right? Uh. Yeah, I haven't done anything like this before. Then I'll make it even harder next time. Be ready. Great. By the way, I have to ask you to pay if you want to keep doing this. I can only do so much charity work. Uh, Understood. Uh, Alright, let's see. Target 1 million, target 2 million. Training will cost you 100,000. That alright? Okay, that covers the cost. Let's get started with, uh, into the enclosure. All right, but well, we already hit the goal. Is there like a, a heat function? No, I guess not. Not bad. You get in the hand of a more aggressive fighting style. Here's a little something for you. Take it. Uh. Alright, I guess we'll go for the two million this time. Jeez. You're expensive, girl. I just want to have a gun. Get up, carry you. Oh, 
Kiryu, you get up. Alright, well, we already hit two million. You broke my glasses with that gun. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Any secrets? Maybe. Possibly. Fishing. Ooh. Right there. Come on, one of you go for it. Alright, maybe not. Alright, let's try up there. I think this rod won't let me get any of the bigger ones in there. This one, on the other hand. Beep! X! A! Fish. Alright, uh, let's see whatever the hell that is. I think I might have casted it too close to it. Yeah. Alright, let's cast it right there. Any takers? Yes, there is. Beat. Eight. Beat. Hoverfish. Or porcupine fish, uh, fish, I guess. Takers? Any at all? Nope. Alright, let's do one more right there. See if we get it. Nope. And it doesn't look like it. Alright. Alright. I definitely need to start investing into better pulls. Oops. Nope. Stop. Oh, there's another fishing spot over here. Nah. I'll wait until I get a better pull and then I should be able to get, get better, bigger fish. Uh, hotel, uh, Park Boulevard, I guess. I wish I gave you a map still. Oh, wait, that's all the way up here. That is not where I want to be. Let's see. That's batting cage, that's bowling, arcade, no, 
All right, I guess I'll just take the taxi down to the pawn shop. Because I really do want to try and invest into some new moves. I just need to find an easier way to get a lot of more money. Can I? No, I can't. Sir, I have got the finest fish of the sea for you. And that just charges heat. All right. Alright, I guess with anything, we'll just go to the waypoint. That's a, that's a restaurant. I might stop at any convenience store that I see along the way just to see if I can get the chocolate there or unless the waypoint is actually where we need to get the candy. There's a convenience store right there, so maybe I'll check before we go straight to the waypoint. See biscuits, ramen, miso, squid, rice balls, bento, steam buns, milk, sushi. Nope. Guess we get some toughness. Yep, that's Oda. Okay, uh, where can I find some candy? Convenience store? No. Wouldn't be there. Maybe the place with imported brand? Nah. Uh, imported brands might actually be the, the right choice here. That's what you get for sprinting in a suit, Kiryu. God, I just realized Kiryu's wearing white. He has got to be sweating like... Like crazy in that thing. Oh, wait. I think this is like purses and watches and stuff. Yes, sir. Cologne, perfume, scar scarf, handbag, Swiss watch, Italian necklace. Yeah, these are like high end stuff. I just want some candy, damn it! I should also see if the, the training actually unlocked anything new for our, our fighting style.
You know, good to abilities. Good to beast. Nope. Nope, still 30 million. All right. Uh, let's see. No, not that. All right. Guess I'll keep looking. Let's see, right there. So go to the one up there by the bowling alley. Racers wanted what? Who's saying that? You? New pocket circuit racers wanted. Wanna have a race? Hi there, how about some pocket circuit racing? We're looking for more people to join in. Pocket circuit? What's that? You race motorized model cars around the track. Everyone's doing it these days. Young and old. Cars are small enough to fit in your pocket, thus the name. Pocket sized race cars. Hi. Yes, it's all the range right now. This is the pocket circuit stadium where races are held. Give it a try sometime. I'm sure you'll be hooked. Pocket circuit, huh? This could be fun. Maybe I'll stop by later. Or now. I'm already here, so why not? So this is the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Looks like a popular spot. Ah, who do we have here? Is this your first time at the Pocket Circuit Stadium? What is this music? This guy's decked out like a Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, I heard this was a new craze, so I came for a look. You're completely new to slot car racing, huh? Nice to have some fresh blood. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Pocket Circuit Fighter. I handle registration and race co uh, commentary. Commentary for the races? Of course! It gets everybody really amped up. So what's your name, then? I'm Kazuma Kiryu. Well, buddy, I'll call you kazuma -kun. Uh, kazuma -kun? You don't mind if I call you that, right? I like to keep things informal around here, so everyone's Kun or Chan. So, kazuma -kun, is it? Uh, okay, if you say so. You're a complete newbie when it comes to pocket cir uh, circuit, huh? Yeah, but I've heard a little bit about it outside. You race m motorized model cars, right? That's right, but racing them's only the beginning. Customizing cars is where the real action's at. Customizing cars? Yeah, winning a race after customizing your car is all sorts of at all sorts of comp uh, components are super fun. You can buy components from the Pocket Circuit Stadium shop over there. You might find components around town too. You can make a very own spe speed demon, Cosmicoon. Okay, I get the gist. Sounds like there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. I understand why it's so popular now. The rumors of awesome components available at high-end Dream Machine vending machines, too. If you ever want to know more about pocket circuiting, just say the word. I'm here to help. Okay, got it. Thanks for filling me in. Hope to see you back here. I'll be waiting. Pocket circuit does sound pretty fun. I should ask Fighter about it sometime. All right, let's see what's for sale at the shop. I need to take the long way, don't I? The slot car part shop, but I have no idea what I should buy. 
Oh, I gotta touch the fighter. Okay. Oh, I see you down there. Yeah. Hey, Cosmicoon. Right, Cosmicoon. You decided to give Pocket Circuit a shot, huh? Uh. Yeah. It looks fun, so I thought I'd get tried out. Awesome! I'm glad you stopped by, Cosmicoon. Having a new opponent to race really gets my competitive spirit going. Uh, okay. To commemorate your Pocket Circuit debut, here's a card to get you started. You're giving it to me? Sure, it's all yours. Pocket Circuit has a fair share of grown-up fans, but most racers are kids. It'd be stoked to see more people of our age getting involved, so think of this as a little incentive. <laughs> well, I can't say no to that. Got the Golem Tiger. Some slick tires. Power motor. A balance frame. Regular gears. And a regular battery. And a red blaze. Let's have a race. I'll show you what Pocket Circuit's all about. Sure, sounds good. Fast forward, boost, stabilize, quit. Okay, seems pretty easy. Let me introduce you to slot car racing. It's simple. Slot cars are placed in lanes, and the one to finish all the lanes, uh, all the laps first wins. But you don't just stand there and watch. You can give your car a boost of speed, for example. Try pressing Y now to to boost. Go, my car. Now that's what I call speed. But the number of times you can boost your car is limited, and it makes it easy to fall out of line. Or out of the lane. Just like that, your car's about to fall out. Press B rapidly to get it back on track. Stay in there! Phew, that was close. Pressing B to save your car only works when you have energy in the top left gauge, though. So now you just race to the goal line. Feeling impatient? You can fast forward the race. Tilt the left stick forward. Now that can save you a lot of time, huh? That'll give you more time for more races. So that's it. You know all the basics now. Talk to me anytime you need a refresher. That should just about cover it. If there's ever anything you want to know, just ask. We're about the same age, so I can tell you a few things from experience. Okay. You got the No Pocket Circuit Fighter. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge, and you can check back the, on the gauge status. Hey, Cosmocoon, come sign up for a race. It's 500 to enter. I want to customize my car real quick. Customize your car until it's tuned to perfection. All right. All right, let's see. Tires. Uh, soft tires give it, gives it better grip, but less speed. Rubber frame. That's pretty good, but the weight goes up. Cost of corner speed. This car is so fast that it might actually be a problem. You know what? Godspeed it is! Uh, that's... Hmm. Battery... High capacity, high speed... Good for long races, short races... I'll keep the regular battery. Side to stable, uh, stabilizers. 
Stabilizes the car when it's about to tilt to one side. Nah, I don't need it. Red Blaze. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to go with a... Oh. Oh. Let's, let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to go with a, a very light blue tire color and its body color. There, perfect. The manliest of cars. All right, let's see. Tires. Uh, speed would go down if I use stock tires. Spike tires. Grassy terrain's no problem with these wild wheels. Acceleration goes slightly up. Grip is not as good as it is if it was soft tires. I'll go with that. Let's see, no. Keep the motor. Godspeed Gears Plus. Actually, we'll swap it to high speed. All right. Look at this. It's beautiful. Alright, let's do this. Introductory race, Little Racers Cup, and the Rookies Race. Test the cars on the basic track. Let's go for the little, little Racers Cup. Fun challenge for young racers. Be sure to choose the right parts for your circuit. Let's go! Oh, that's fast! Oh, that is fast! Woo! Maybe too fast! Ugh, get on that! Stay on there! We're almost there! One more lap! Or no, sorry. Three more laps. Two more. Now we go! Stay on there! Stay on there! We're, we're off, we're off! <laughs> he looks so defeated! Ah! Uh, damn it. We had it, and then I got too cocky with the boost. Uh-uh. I'm going back in. We can do this. Come on, little buddy. I kind of like the frames of the two cars to the left of me. Oh, wait, I, I picked the wrong frame, or the wrong race. It's fine. Stay on there!
I think someone had a false start. No, oh, you get back on there! And we just lapped him. He's so happy. That was some thrilling race in there, Kazuma Kun. Come back for another race soon. Alright, now I want to see what's for sale at the shop. Looks like they got some brand new stuff at the parts shop. Win more races and get your hands on sweet parts for your stock car and make it even faster. Good luck. All right, what have we got? Let's see, low profile tire, slim tire, speed motor, balance motor, speed frame, metal frame, gears, spike tires plus, speed motor plus, 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 rocket frame plus, an outer frame of the pocket circuit racer, uh, circuit cars lets you corner at high speed, but you're more likely to run off the track. Speed with a slight lean towards raw output. Sure, I'll take that. I'll just buy all the low tier stuff. Actually, probably can buy everything. I got 7 million. <laughs> I just made that guy's day with that sale. I want a rematch. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's see. Zigzags and jumps. Probably don't want too much speed on it then. So we need something with more grips. So let's go soft tires. I'm gonna lose corner speed. Go with balance frame. Keep the motor. We'll keep the battery as is. No side stabilizer, and we're going to keep its color, because why not? Alright, let's do this! Let's do this! Ooh. Oh, jeez! Okay, maybe give it a little less speed for that one. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm racing. We are going to win that track tonight. Alright, uh, let's see. Customize, let's see. So we definitely need a lot less speed and better at cornering. Go with the better soft tires. Let's see. Something with decent speed. Maybe speed motor plus. 
ears. Acceleration goes to garbage, though. Keep that. Alright, that should be better. There it is. Stay on the plane. Stay on there. Ah, uh, oh, stay on. Come on, I can do this. We'll give it one more shot. This time I'm not even going to use the boost unless, like, at the very end of the race. I can't believe we almost had it the first time and then I got too cocky with the boost. Wait for the right moment. Five. Six. Now. Uh, third place, fourth place, damn it! Oh well, we finished the race at least. There's the convenience store. We'll check there. If I don't get what I'm looking for, then we'll just head to Oda and then we'll continue from where we left off. Let's see. Odin soup. Rolls. Club sandwich. Tuna egg. Milk. Mandarin. Nikitori. There it is. Cure you. There we go. What the? Just, just stay asleep. Don't mind me, just making some money here. We might be here for a while, people, so if you want to ask me anything, feel free to do so. Uh oh. So, yeah. 
as I was saying, we might be here for a while, people. So if you want to ask me anything, feel free to do, do so. Oh god, I just realized it's only a thousand yen each time. I'd rather just fight him. What the hell? Oh, it's that one guy that we got the... Uh, got like the CP point into. Give me this. I got a bike. Excuse me, sir. Stay down. Can't go out that way. All right, fine. I'll take the long way game if I you insist. Oh, <laughs> さすがにこれくらいはやってくれなきゃな。で、ここが問題の過ぎたビルだ。ここに専用屋が居座っているってわけか。ああ、それじゃ行くぞ。Alright, let's go. お手並み拝見と行こうか。まあ見てな。この部屋らしいな。すみません。辻さんいます。山井さんの代理店参りました。立花不動産のもんですかね。立花不動産。あとこれ。つまらないものですけど。おい、勝手に何すんだ。Oh man, he's got space invaders. And a Sega Saturn. ゴミだらけじゃ立ち抜くの大変じゃないですか立ち抜くなんだよそれ俺は立ち抜く気なんかねえぞそうは言ってもねこのビルはもう山野井さんが新しいオーナーになったわけだからそれをあんたがいつま
ねえ辻さん茶番はよしませんか新しいオーナーさんとしてはさっさとこんなボロビル転売して一儲けしたいわけですそんなもんそっちの都合だろお前ら下っ端じゃ話になんねえそのオーナー連れてこいよあだったらそっちもさっさとバックにいるヤクザ出したらどうですヤクザ何の話かわからねえなだからそんな猿芝居はいらねえってんだよ部屋に居座るだけが脳のチンピラがでけえ口叩くなんだとあんたごときにオーナーは出てこねえよバックのヤクザに伝えとけお前らの交渉相手はこの立花不動産だってなあんま調子に乗んなよ不動産や風情がそれじゃ要件は伝えましたよ辻さんわっ、well, の negotiations were short And we still didn't have to pay him to leave. So we keep our money. Ma, Sai Shawa Kona Tokoro da Rona. Zuibun Arapoi Kosho da Tajaneka. Business manner to not do any was ready to come. She got to tell what Skywalker got Dijin and Dio. Dite Ano Tsujit the Senu Yawa Uchino Kosho White Jane. まずは本物の交渉相手を引きずり出さねえとな本物の交渉相手バックにいるヤクザかはあ結局向こうも金が目当てなんだがよお互いぶっちゃけたあとはさっさと話し進めようってことになる Well 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 look who just showed up なんだ眠いねえ、キリュウ君。本物の交渉相手かろう早速反応があったってことだ。おたくらが立場の不動産って人たち、山の遺産の代理だって聞いたけど。あんたはおたくらの味方ですよ。杉田ビルの専用屋に困ってるんでしょ。ええ、まあね。私が話しつけてあげるよそしたら彼すぐに立ち退いてくれるからなるほどその仲介料としてうちはあんたらにいくら払えばいいんです話が早いねさすがカムロ町の不動産屋だそうだな700万ってところがあのビル転売したら奥は儲けが出るでしょう700なんて良心的だと思わないほんの少し部屋に居座っただけで700万あんたら楽して儲けすぎでしょう楽して儲けてんのはお互い様だろ今時の不動産屋は濡れ手で上がるだからってあんたらに払う金はないよただそれでもあんたらには専用屋に口聞いてもらうどうやってもちろん力ずくでだよねキリュウ君おだあんた鼻からこういう筋書きだったのかまあねでも新入社員の初仕事にしちゃ相手の数が多すぎたかいやそうでもねえさ Gotta take off the glasses. <laughs> sure, just let me get the money real quick. Real quick, hold on. I got the money around here somewhere. 
There's the money. Oh, hey, look, a motorcycle. Oh, or I guess I'll take the bike. Not exactly what I was going for. I want the motorcycle. Where'd the motorcycle go? There it is. There we go. Hey, uh, you forgot your friend. Alright, he's just gonna lay there? Okay. いや、その。あんたの後ろ盾は見ての通りだよ、筋さん。それでもまだ一人で頑張る気。いいえ、別にない。あ、そう。それじゃ今夜中にあの部屋出てってね。明日の朝まで言ったらこの気流君が何してかすかわかんないよ。こ、今夜中に勝ち残せていただけません。すいませんでした。これがあんたの仕事の
do need to visit Bacchus at some point because I think he has some new things he can teach us. Uh oh. I'm always a mock bowl just up ahead. Hmm? ま、<笑> Leisure cane, five billionaires. Well, in this case, I'm starving. What the hell was that? His little pet called him the leisure cane with a straight face. He definitely missioned Yam Yama Yamanoi, though I don't like what I heard. I have to check up on him right away. Why is the street so empty? This is the emptiest street I've ever seen in this town. すみませんで。ありがとうございました。専用屋の件も無事片付けてくれたみたいで。いや、それは別に構わん。それより大丈夫なのか。ええ、おかげさまで大した傷じゃないですよ。はは、開けてみて。しかし、一体どうしたというん
芸能王と呼ばれる億万長者たちがカムロ町の物件に次々と手をつけ始めているんですその圧倒的な資金力と金をばらまいて従えた悪い連中たちを使った圧力と暴力でねそんな奴らがいたのか知らなかった彼ら5人はカムロ町を5つのエリアに分けそれぞれを自分のものにしようとしていますうちに目をつけているブラコウはその中の一つであるこの天下一通りエリアを手に入れようとしているというわけです私も多少ですがこの辺りの有力な物件を所有していますからブラコウはそれを狙って私をなるほどな奴らを狙いはあんた自身ではなくあんたの所有する物件ということかしかしなぜ連中はそんなに物件を欲しがるんだ詰まるところ金儲けですマネーゲームを楽しむためですよ現在の異常なまでの景気で物件や土地は転がせば転がすだけ金が儲かるまさにうちでの小槌です東洋一の歓楽街カムロ町の物件は特にね彼らはゲームで大いに力を発揮してくれるそんな優秀な駒を何としても手に入れたい物件を駒扱いかだがその駒には懸命に働いている奴らや平和に暮らしている奴らがいるわけだろうもちろんだが彼らは自分たちの儲けばかりを考えてそこで生きる人々やカモロ町という町のことを一切考えていない彼らのマネーゲームに巻き込まれて悲惨な目に遭っている人たちがすでに大勢いる私は何とかしてそれを食い止めたいこの異常な景気で日本は豊かになったように見えるだがいつかはこの景気の波にも終わりが来ると私は思っているその時カムロ町はこのままマネーゲームで引っかき回され続ければ雑草一本を生えない荒れ地になってしまいかねない、うん、私も長くこの町と共に生きてきた男でカムロ町が大好きだだからこの町をそんなことにはさせたくないそのために抗ってきたんですがさすがにこの老体には荷が重すぎたようだもう限界ですかなそう言わずにもう少し頑張れないのかそんな奴らの金遊びのためにカムロ町を荒らされるなんてたまったもんじゃないぜ。OK、Moon。You get some sleep。私もカムロ町をあいつらから奪い返して昔の健全な状態に戻したいという思いはある。だが、ファイブビリオネアには膨大な金があるし。暴力に訴えかけることもできるこの老体にはそれがないくそなんとかならんもんなのかフフフつだけ方法がありますなんだそれはキリュウさんあなただあなたには奴らに対抗できる腕力も悪い奴らを許さない正義感も揉め事を解決する力もある専用屋の件も私が手に負えなかったところをあなたはすぐに解決してくれたそんなあなたがこの事務所を継いでくれればもしかしたら彼らに一矢報いることができるかもしれない何言ってんだ買いかぶりすぎだ俺には経営能力もなければ経験もない誰でも最初はそうです難しく考えないでいい私もあなたにお願いする以上できる限りの協力をさせてもらうつもりですご安心をそれにこの任務は不動産のいろはを学ぶ上でもきっといい経験になると思いますよ別に失敗しても構いませんどうせ遅かれ早かれこのまま行けばこの事務所は潰れてしまう運命だしかし別に俺じゃなくても
他に適任そうなやつがいるんじゃないかなかなかキリュウさんほどの男はいないと思うがねそれに私はあなたを信頼しているんですよあなたが思っている以上にねなぜだキリュウさんあなた風間慎太郎という男を知っているねえあなたは風間さんが経営する施設の出だそうですねつまり彼はあなたにとって育ての親だそして堂島組の若衆として杯を受けた今もその恩を忘れず風間慎太郎を親として慕い続けているあんた一体どうしてそれを誰か信頼できる人間はいないかと探す私にあなたを推薦してくれたんですよ立花さんが立花がええくれぐれも内密にと念を押された上であなたのことをいろいろと話してくれましたということはつまりさっきの話は全部立花も承知の上ってことかええ、立花さんもあなたがこの仕事を継ぐにふさわしい人物だと思っているんでしょうあんた風間のおやさんのことを知っているような口ぶりだがどういう関係なんだ<笑>昔ちょっとね詳しくは言えないが一つだけ言えるとしたら風間さんは私がこの世で最も信頼している男だということですそんな風間さんを慕う昔の狩りにそっくりのギラギラとしたしかし綺麗な目をしている男になら私の全てを託してみてもいいかなと思いましてね、うん、お願いできませんか桐生さん今のカムロ町にはあなたのような男が必要なんですわかったそこまで言うなら勉強のつもりでやらせてもらおう失敗しても恨みっこなしたぜもちろん一つよろしくお願いしますよキリオさんはい、no time like the present let's get you up to speed on the basics of our business but, hmm, it's a bit distracting with a place in such shambles. I'll call my secretary to help me straighten up. Secretary? Didn't know you had one. Oh, yes, I'll introduce you later. She's quite the charmer, and I think you'll agree, Kiryu-san. So, can I ask you to step out for a bit while I get the office put together? It shouldn't take long. Alright. If you say so... I hope nothing wacky happens to me. Oh, who am I kidding? Alright, he's cleaning his office. I should go for a stroll and check back in later. Alright, might as well go visit Brockus. See if he has any new techniques for me. He is still asleep. Uh, just, uh... There we go. Thank you for the kind donation. I probably should save, too. It's been a while. Ready to learn my moves? Sorry, boy, there's nothing I can teach you yet. Oh, fine. Uh, man, that 61 million is looking very promising right now. Let's see, 50. Sorry, had to sneeze. How is it that an umbrella does more damage than a wooden katana? 
I feel like a gentleman's umbrella would be a lot more fragile and a lot less painful than a katana would. Alright, well, I guess I can make my way back up to the pocket circuit uh, racing area and do some more races while I wait. Let's see, up in the corner. I could also visit the arcade as well. Or I could go to the popcorn shop. All right. Oh, it's closed. Damn it. I wanted some popcorn. Oh, you. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Stay down. Sorry, sir. I won't bother you again. Whew. Thanks. Here, this is for your help. Uh oh, fights. Nope. Sorry, busy. Gotta go pocket race. All right, let's do this. All right. So it had too little speed last time we tried this. So let's see. Cornering is great. Uh, it's a frame that's really doing it. So, is there anything that gives me more speed? No. Motor. Alright, let's try this. This should be the true winner. I'm still nowhere close to leveling up my stuff. All right, let's do this. Okay, maybe too much speed. No! <laughs> I hit the wrong button! Alright, let's try a different race. Uh, rookie's race, Pro-Am, cost limit's 30. Slope curves and a jump. Loop switch and a wall. Jeez, that's a, that's a 12 lap one there, though. Alright, uh, we need, we need more grip. And unfortunately, that's the best grip I have. Alright, maybe we should try to side stabilizers. Five gears. Still too much. I want to keep that. Let's 
Seriously? What was the cost? 20. Damn it, I want to keep that side part. 32, 39. I guess we'll go with the speed motor. Nope, need three. Alright, boost gears. Alright, little buddy. Let's do this. There we go. Stay on there. Stay on there. Damn it. I need more power. Okay, side stabilizer, gotta go. Wasn't doing me any good. High speed battery. Forty one's good. That is is. Let's see if we can lower that speed just a bit, but boost everything else. That works. Nah, too heavy. Let's try it this time. I will win this race if it kills me. Alright, so far so good. Got a oh god! Got a healthy lead. Three more laps. I think this is it. 
I think we got this. And one. Nope, one more lap. Speaking of lap, we just like lap like two people there. There we go. Hell yeah. Hey, fighter. Huh? Oh, it's you, Takuma. What's up? Are you really a virgin? <laughs> now that's a tricky word for someone of your age. I'm impressed. But no more saying words you don't know the meaning of, okay? Promise me? Fighter seems pretty good at dealing with kids. But I know what it means. It's when you never have gone out with a girl before. Uh, not exactly, but close enough, I guess. Anyways, where'd you hear that word? From Hideki-kun? Hey, Hideki-kun. Mm -hmm. What, Takamakun? So you're the one stirring things up, huh, Hideki-kun? You should know better than to use language like that. But my mom said anyone spending so much time with Pocket Circuit at your age has got to be a virgin. That's very... Unkind of your mother to say. Anyways, she's wrong. Virgin, virgin. No, I'm not. Virgin, virgin. Poor guy looks pretty miserable. I need to clear this mess up or we'll never get back to the pocket circuit racing. Hmm. Fighter isn't a virgin. Huh? Really? Yeah. Fighter's super cool. I bet he has girls throwing themselves at him all the time. Why would girls throw themselves? That sounds dangerous. Anyways, if a cool guy like you says so, I guess it, I might have been wrong. Sorry we made fun of you, Fighter. Yeah, we're sorry. Oh, no problem, haha. <laughs> I'm just glad you understand. Okay, now that's cleared up. Let's go. I'll go back to Pocket Circuit. All right. Thanks for that, Cosmo-kun. Don't mention it. Keep your chin up, huh? Cosmo-kun. I know you defended me, but what the kids said about me is true. Oh, I see. Well, it happens at different times for everyone. It's not like it's a race or anything. I'll be 30 next year. Oh. Getting up there, huh? Yeah, I can only call myself a late bloomer so long. All this time, I've never even held a girl's hand. It's pretty shameful. Still, that's what I get for being the pocket circuit fighter at this age. No wonder the kids tease me. Hey, you have plenty to be proud of. Huh? Your town is being able to see things from a kid's perspective and enjoy the same things they do. Not everyone can do that. I think you're fine just the way you are, fighter. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Cosmicoon. <laughs> this won't do. I need to pull myself together. I feel a lot better now thanks to you, Cosmicoon. I'm done feeling sorry for myself. Good. Hand in there, fighter. Thanks. Come back for another race sometime. I look forward to seeing you do. Got something. It's come by guessing the building's cleaned out. Okay. On our way back. Oh, you're approaching me? Well, fine then. Here. Wait a second. Yep. There we go. Just need to get my bike. Here, hold this for me. Yeah. 
Ugh. Just stay down already. I just realized something. I think I got something that can... Let's see. This necklace soothes the fatigue of the power of magnets. Restoring your health while you stand still in battle. That's better than what I had on. So, yes. Hell yeah. Kiryu, you. good to meet you. What do you think, Kiryu-san? This place looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. The hideout. You can now use the office at the Sugita building as your hideout, which also serves as your business headquarters. As the story advances, you unlock the ability to switch protagonists using the hideout telephone, as well as change clothes into... Any of the outfits you've unlocked. Now, how about we walk you through some of the business basics? Is that a good time? Sure, sounds good. Uh. In that case, I'll let my secretary take it from here. There's a lot to remember, but if you forget anything, you can ask me anytime. For now, I'll walk you through the whole process once. Oh boy! Kamurocho Real Estate Royale. In Real Estate Royale, you purchase and manage properties to build up your funds for the ultimate goal of bringing down the five billionaires. Manage your holdings from Kiryu's office by interacting with the city model on the table. You can also check the status of your properties by selecting businesses at the pause menu. You can do the following through the office menu. Start a payout collection for the area, collect profits from each area, assign a manager and security to each area, send advisors to properties. Managing your properties using these options will, and you will soon be raking in huge profits. Select a real estate royale management by pressing Y to display a payout collection confirmation window. If you have assigned a manager or security guard to your area and you want to collect from, their salaries will also be listed. Select yes to confirm. Sometime after collection started, the gauge will fill up and you will be able to collect the profits. The funding gathered is based on the profit forecasts and economic trends. However, sometimes things will not go sm so smoothly. Problems may arise during collection process. Or you may be challenged to a money battle while collecting your profits. If a problem occurs, the collection gauge will freeze. You'll be unable to collect profits until you find out who's causing the problem and subsequently deal with them. Sometimes when you collect your profits, one of the five billionaires will challenge you to a money battle. A manager assigned to the area will try to counter the effects of the billionaire's aggressive investment, but if their HP runs out, you'll lose the targeted property. Retouch your property by pressing A to invest your own money to restore the manager's HP. You can assign one manager per area. They have the following abilities. Financial Savvy. Counts as HP during money battles. The only recovers when a manager is not in use, so switch them out often. Economic influence uh, shows the manager's effect in economic tr uh, trends in the area. The higher the value, the better. The number, the better. The number on the left is the starting value, and the one on the right is the final one after four collections. In addition to a manager, you can also assign a security guard to the area. Each security employee has the following abilities. Uh, let's see. Shows the ability to resolve an issue during collection. At high levels, guards are more likely to solve the problems on their own. And the higher the value, the fewer violent encounters will transpire when walking in the area. The number on the left is the starting value, and the one on the right is the final value after four collections. Send advisors to properties. Sending an advisor to visit a property will help make improvements, upgrading its rank in the process. Select the property first, and then an advisor. You will have to pay for their services, but as earning potential... Uh, of a property will improve as its rank rises. Each advisor has a different abilities and areas of expertise, so select the right advisor for each property. 
I think that about covers it. Did you follow all that? I think so. Then let's get to it. Please, give the order to begin collections for our current property holdings. Alright, let's see. Uh, he's more expensive. I'm guessing circles mean good, triangles mean great. We'll invest in that. Staff list. Just an average guy. Do my best. Uh, keeping things the same as they always are. Leave me. Leave it to me. These aren't muscles. I just have a big chest. I got mugged last time I was in Mongolia. I'm good at arguing. And those are our advisors. All right. You get the collection sorted like a pro. Now you just need to relax for a bit, and the cash will come flowing in. Oh, a Yamanoi son left me some funds to serve as our initial opening capital. I'll give that to you now. Damn. Thank you. Still not enough to even get one upgrade, though. This is a fortune. Are you sure? Hey. Of course. That nest egg and uh, Yurizaki down on the first floor of the building are my little send-off to you. Please, use them with my blessing. Though relying on the single shop profits is putting a lot of eggs in one basket. Why not buy another with the cash? You want a solid starter, so I'd recommend Sukiyaki uh, Moronaka on Tenkaichi Street. They're a pretty popular spot, but still a completely affordable acquisition. Alright, I'll give it a look. Use the opening capital you've earned to acquire the building. First I'll check the... Oh, I guess I need to go to the place itself. Alright then. I thought I had to do it with the model. Is this the place? Yes, it is. This is the main outpost for an old school sukiyaki restaurant. They always book solid with reservations. What should I do? Purchase the property. I'll make an offer in cash. I just want to see if there's anything back there. Okay, Kiryu. Kiryu, where are you going? There we go. Oh, welcome back. Looks like you acquired a new property. Also, those collections you ordered are in. The money is ready and waiting for you. A set time after giving the order to begin in collections in a given block, you will be able to pick up the profits. Access the menu on the office table and choose real estate man uh, royal management and secure the leisure cane area. invest and we'll invest in this a bit all right 
Now, but that is... Oh, wow, that is a... Look at that collection! Look at those profits are in. It's ex this is exactly when you need... Uh... Well, you need to keep watch for one of the five billionaires picking a money battle. If you lose that money battle, you'll lose ownership of the property. So be sure you're always appointed a manager. Uh. Right, got it. It's definitely a lot to keep in your head, though. <laughs> <laughs> True. But I'm sure you have it soon, Kiryu-san. Basically, you want to expand your holdings, grow those properties, and enhance your personal roster. That'll build your share and earn you greater profits. The bigger we get by repeating the process, the closer we'll be to shutting down the five billionaires. Uh. Right, I'm on it. Oh, one other thing. I'm leaving up to you how to spend any profits op and operating capital. In this line of work, you end up spending money on all sorts of ways. Invest wisely. That includes investing in yourself. I don't see how I'm going to spend this much money anytime soon, but thanks. I'll use it well. I hope. I trust you will, Mr. President. Wait, I don't remember becoming president. Hmm, no, but as a secretary, it just feels natural to call you one of the, call the one making the business calls the president. Don't you feel really secretary? Doesn't that feel really secretary-ish of you to do? Does it? I wouldn't really know, but Yamanoi Sun's the president here, isn't he? Well, yes, officially. Well, what's the harm? And Marina Sun wants to call you that? I say letter. This is actually my first gig as a secretary, so I'm eager to be a, as secretary ish as possible. Oh, a first timer at this too. What did you used to do before Yamanoi Sun hired you? <laughs> That's a big juicy secret, Hart. Y yeah? Okay then. I don't really care what you call me, so knock yourself out. Yay! Then let's aim for the top here, Mr. President. Right. She seems capable enough, but she's a little... odd. I see a lot of headaches in my future. Ah, well. I agreed to do this. I'm going all in. President Kiryu. Phew. Okay. I was gonna meet Oda for that drink. He said the place was called uh, Serena on Tenkaichi Street. Go to Serena! Hey, it's you! Golly, it's Kiryu san, er, uh, I mean, yo, how's it hanging? Crazy Kiyo from the Yamanochi Silvers, or Yokomochi. Hard to tell if you're acting like a gentleman or a Yankee, as usual. So, what brings you here today? You might want to also stand out out of this steam area because it's really starting to get to us. I'm sorry. Actually, I want to go. I want to work on my hooliganism with you, Kiryu-san. Please let me work at your office and help your business. I really doubt you'll be able to. Uh, you'll be able to be a better hooligan by working at my company. Please, I'll do anything. I don't even want money for it. No, if you're going to help, I'll pay you a salary. Even if we know each other, business is business. Y you're bitching, Kiryu-san. Yo, I think I just learned some uh, shit about being a hardcore hooligan right now. <laughs> well, we got Kiyo as an advisor. Kiryu-san, thanks for helping me get my pistons pumping. Sure, let's kick it into top gear. Also, get out of the steam vent. Thank you. Uh, he's handing out tissues. I don't need that. Hmm? Oh.
らっしゃいませ。お客さん初めてあ,あ<笑>お好きな席にどうぞいや俺は待ち合わせて緊張してんじゃねえよ錦よっなんでお前がここに行きつけの店の1軒や2軒俺にだってあるさこの店は今俺の一番の大きいなレナあら、錦山君のお知り合いあ、もしかしてキリオさんあ、ああ、そうだうわあ、やっと会えた一度お会いしてみたかったのよ錦山君、ヨウとあなたの話しかしないからねおい、余計なこと言うなまあいい、とりあえずここ座れよ、キリオ奇遇だなああお前はよく来るのかまあな組の兄貴たちもまだこの店は知らねえ落ち着いて飲めるんでなそのうちおめえも誘おうと思ってたならちょうど手間が省けたなそういやおめえさっき待ち合わせって言ってたか相手は立花不動産の織田だ先に来てるはずなんだが小田さんならまだ来てないわよさあどうぞ最初の一杯は私のおごりもともと小田におごられる予定だなんだあまり乗客じゃないみたいねなーに俺たちはこれからの人間だからよ今度はユミちゃんにも会ってみたいな歓迎するわよあいつはまだ学生だよでも何だったらここでバイトさせてやってくれおいユミにこの町でホステスさせんのか人気出ると思わねえかあいつはひまわりの頃から親父にモテるじゃあ期待の新人ねそうかもななんだかキリュウさんユミちゃんのお父さんみたいそこはせめて兄貴みたいって言ってやれよ<笑>失言ねそれにしても立花不動産の小田って言ったかちょっと遅いんじゃねえのかどうするもう一杯飲むかいや待つよ先輩をほっといて俺だけ出来上がっちまうわけにもいかないからな<笑>うんなんだよおめえも少しはサラリーマンっぽくなってきたじゃねえかこれくらいで何言ってんだただのマナー常識だろその常識がねえのがおめえだったろうが<笑>言ってろねえそれならカラオケでもどうんいいね歌う歌うバカそれじゃ酒飲んでんのと変わんねえだろうつうかカラオケならこの前もじゃあお前は聞いてるだけでいい俺が勝手に歌うからそれならいいだろう仕事上がりの時くらい硬いこと一個なしよ歌ってる間に小田さんもきっと来るわしょうがねえなよしそうと決まれば全話急げだミュージックスタートおっとよああ、of course it would be judgment Alright, 
Well, it's time for round two. Let's see if I can actually nail that one part. Oh, no, Nishiki's singing. God, that went so fast. Man, that one purse, it's just so fast. Yo, 92 though. Karaoke King, nice. Ah, oh, we're just one short though. Nishikiyama-kun,すごい。プロみたいだったわ。だろ? <laughs> おめえもなんだかんだ言ってノリノリだったじゃねえか。しょうがねえから乗ってやっただけだ。たく、素直じゃねえな。本当はおめえも歌いたいんじゃねえのか。そんなわけないだろう。たく。それにしても踊ったや
識いや俺がこちらの片木さんと話してんだろうが意識やめよガキがシャシャル出てくんな錦山は関係ねえこいつとはたまたま居合わせただけです<笑>ああでなくてもついやてみえだねえ親父もうこいつやっちまっていいですかこいつの面見てるだけで俺らはもうおう片木の皆さんに迷惑かけねえようにな店の外でやるここで錦山と飲んだら美人のママも一緒にな来いやキリュウすぐに戻る。そんじゃこっちをこっちで楽しくやろうやねえ錦山俺はよお前が正気とは思えねえんだな。組み抜けたその足で、古巣にしょんべん引っ掛けやがって。おかげでうちは1000万からのしのぎがパーだ。死に急ぐのは勝手だがよ。もっと周りに迷惑かけねえようにしねえとな。何つって。土下座しろや土下座てめえたちは分かってんのかバイロンんか勘違いしてるらしいなあんたらに詫び入れる気はねえよおとなしく殴られてやる理由もねえやる気なのかそうかよ<笑>面白いなお前おれやってみろ<笑>早くやれやその代わりここが最後の一戦だすぐそこに阿波野の親父がわざわざ出張ってきたがそいつを承知でやるってんならその度胸だけは褒めてやるよ俺の仲間が血流してる<笑>錦山とそれに立花不動産のお前の連れが<笑>あいつはほんの少し可愛がっただけですぐてめえの居所吐いたよ<笑>てめえ何が最後の一戦だてめえはとっくにそれ超えてんだ You're about ready to lose more than just a finger, buddy All right, hold on a second. Let me go get my bike. Uh, I'll be right with you guys. Ah, damn it. The bike's not a choice. All right. Uh, no, 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 need to invest. Get some drinks. Get some medicine. All right. Now it's time to go. Excuse me. I was trying to swing your friend round and round. There we go.
Get out of here. Alright. Who's left? You? Perfect. Oh, oh, right in the ear. Oh, mm. right in the back of the head. Get up. All right, time for brawler. Tell 
一つの情報を洗いざらい吐き出させるんだけどその後部外者にはご退場願うつまり殺すってことか朝まで考える時間があるな立花を渡すかおめえが死ぬかどっちか選んで組合所に連絡しろや返事がねえ時は狩りを始めろだ獲物は当然お前の首だまあ、you can try Chapter 5 An Honest Living Completion Bonus 20 million Thank you Uh, worth three times the TV animation or anime production cost. Oops. All right, it's time to go the Yakuza way. Now, are we back with Kiryu, or are we? It looks like we're still with Kiryu. ママ、もういいよ。迷惑かけた。小田さん。キリュウ。すまねえ、兄弟。俺はまるで、お前の力になってやれなかった。いや、それはこっちのセリフだ。結局お前のことまで巻き込んじまった。悪い。<笑>おい、お前、これからどうする気だ<笑>さっきの青野ってやつに、うちの社長を渡せって言われたんだろう。さっきおめえが下で暴れてる間。アワノの兄貴がそう言ってたんだこれから道島組が組を挙げて立花の社長を探すことになるってなああ俺からもお前を説得しろって言われて立花を渡すことがお前が死なずに済む唯一の道だとよう社長は今お前の濡れ衣を晴らすために町中の情報を集めてんだその社長の首を道島組に差し出すのかあんた黙ってろなんだと断りは立花の代わりに気流がまとにされる組織ぐるみで終われねえいくらなんでも生き残れねえだったらうちの社長が殺されることは構わねえのかてめえらがキリを巻き込んだんだろうがよせ、相手は怪我人だ、西木。それに、いずれ道島組を敵に回すのは、俺も承知の上だった。思ったよりそのタイミングが早かっただけだ。<笑>道島組相手に正面切って喧嘩を売るつもりかバカ言ってんじゃねえまさか親さんだってここまでひどくなるとは思ってなかったはずだそれは確かにそうかもしれないもともと立花社長は道島組と正面から勝ち合う前に例の殻の一つをかっさらうつもりでいた道島組にとってあの土地は10億じゃ効かねえ価値があるんだそれをうまく使えばうちもカムロ町の一角を担う組織になれる道島組でさえやすやすとは潰せない組織ただこうまで早く道島組の幹部に目をつけられちまうとはな天野の兄貴を甘く見すぎだあの人クセなんかと比べ物にならねえよ切れもんだとにかく社長と話してみるママ電話貸してくれが助かる道だってあるはずだ
うちが空の一つもの所有者を抑えるや堂島組と取引できる余地もあるだといいがよ社長織田です今は桐生とセルナって店にいますええそれで堂島組の青野が社長を渡せと桐生に持ちかけてきましたはいうちが空の一つを追っていることにも気づいてますだから社長は今すぐ身を隠してください俺はもう桐生は信用できないと思います社長を堂島組に売るかもしれないなおいちょっと待ていいんだ錦でもよ<笑>これでもう俺にも社長がどこにいるかはわからないくそ悪く思うなよ騒がせたなママ怖い思いをさせてすまなかったうちの心配なんてそれよりこれからどうするのおい待てキリュウおめえどうする気なんだよ今さらジタバタしても始まんねえもともと組を抜けた時は一人でやるつもりだったまずはクゼを捕まえて俺の濡れ衣を晴らす振り出しに戻ったなバカ野郎この状況でそんなことできるわけねえだろうそれでも俺はやるしかねえんだI had to clear my name, huh? Come to think of it, I still haven't been back to give the empty lot a proper look once over. The cops may have cleaned out by now, it could be worth going to take a look. Alright, we still have some time, so we can go visit the lot. Uh, let me check real quick. Wrong button. Oh, we actually do have enough to invest in one of our things now. Alright, uh, what do we got to invest in? Heat retention, more health, or... I'd like you to perform a resist guard when the enemy attacks during a combo rush. Press X uh, during the next combo left bumper to uh, before an enemy hits. Alright, not bad. Increase the attack power of regular attacks and heat actions when using rush. Catch an enemy off guard with a straight punch to the body. Right bumper, then back, and then... Why? Ugh. Improve the evasiveness of quick step. Extends the distance of quick step. Also reduces the amount of heat used when performing a quick step. Oh, that sounds useful. What about Brawler? Heat gauge will rise when you taunt an enemy. Put up the guard. Uh, put up your guard again right after the enemy breaks through it. This can only be used when calm on the first heat bar. Already got that taken care of. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with the the white tiger spirit. I feel like Brawler is probably my favorite uh fighting stance that Kiryu has. Uh, for Majima, honestly, his breakdancing style is probably my favorite. Excuse me. Hmm? Hey, you're... Sachiko, the... Bruiser girl. Please, don't call me that anymore. I've completely stepped away from that scene. Oh, is that so? Good for you. And what are you doing here? Have you started up a new business or something? Well, it's about that. You know, I could help you with your own business, if you want. What? 
Help would be great, but you're still in high school, right? I'm not sure I can employ a high school student. Huh, I'm no ordinary high school student. I have connections and experience built up from my brochure business. I can help you with the distribution lo logistics and whatever else your company might need. Hmm, you make a good point. Besides, it's better for you to help a legit company instead of peddling panties. Exactly! Glad we agree. I look forward to working with you. She's a three star. Yeah, likewise. I did it. This will let me get a little closer to him. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. Ugh, you're so nosy. Uh, I'm sorry. So, uh, from the looks of things, anytime I do like a, a side story mission, a character that uh, was involved in it will appear outside the business and will ask to accompany me or, or to join the business. I kind of like that. It, it incentivizes you to go and do these side missions, even though the side missions are still really good and uh, just doing them and experiencing the stories is uh, worth enough. Alright, uh, let's see. We need to, wow, we need to go all the way over there. Alright, we'll just go up and around. Just sidesteps out of the way. Here, hold this comb for me. Or go flying. That works too, I guess. Alright, listen here, buddy. You need to knock it off with that. Stay down. Ah, oh, jeez. It's like a truck. Okay, uh, let's head this way. I don't see anything that's sticking out as a side story. Hmm? Yes, can I help you? Okay, well that was weird. Tachibana. Nan de 
もう真犯人につながるような証拠は残っていませんよ分かってるうちの情報網を使ってクゼを洗いましたもしクゼがあなたをはめた黒幕であればここでの殺しのために殺し屋を雇ったはずですですがクゼの周りにそういう動きはありませんでしたどういうことだつまりあなたに殺しの濡れ衣を着せた黒幕はおそらくクゼじゃありません他にいます何今私が掴んでいる情報はここまでですそれをあなたにお伝えしようと思いましてねそのためだけにあんたはここにええですがご心配なく私はカムロ町から姿を消しはしません堂島組がうちの動きに気づくまでもう少し時間がかかると思っていましたがそれでも想定の範囲内ですその割に小田は淡くってたかな小田さんにもまだ伝えてないことですが実はこの空の一つでも所有者を見つけましたえ訳あってまだ接触はできていませんですがその人物を内側を抑え空の一つを手に入れれば道島組が我々に土地を売ってほしいと頭を下げることになるこの土地の価値はそれだけの力を生むんですですから桐生さんあなたにはそれまでの間死なずにいていただきます無理な相談でしょうか空の一粒の持ち主はいつ抑えられるんだ一日くださいただし他言無用ですたとえ相手が錦山さんや柏木さんであってもあんたを今天野に売り渡せば俺は堂島組に狙われずに済むものだがなあなたがそういう人なら私はこんなところにのこのこ顔を出したりしませんよ明日連絡しますどうかそれまで堂島組から生き延びてくださいキリさん All I can do now is wait for work from Tachibana better head home and lie low there All right, we'll get back to our house and then we'll call tonight. Ah, great. Oi. Well, there, buddy, not so fast. You plan to just waltz past here without a word? You went through here, you gotta pay the toll. What the hell? A shakedown? I feel bad for the guy, but I can't really afford to get involved right now. Oi. Or you mute or something, Blondie? If you don't want to get hurt, just let's see some cash already. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh, if you insist, just be sure to pick it all up, hmm? Eh? Huzzah! Hmm? <laughs> Whoa, it's money! <laughs> right on, I've never seen so much dough in one place. Uh? Whoa, hey! I had my hand on that one first. Keep your grubby mitts off my dough. Huh? Shut up and move your freaking leg. <laughs> oh ho ho! My my, peasants truly are a sordid blot. Uh hmm. Oh ho! Did you want some of my money as well? Yeah. No. Then I shall be on my merry way. Till next time. Cheers. Wait, do you always throw wads of cash just to clear the road just like that? But of course, why? At the point you cough up the money, it's no different from getting mugged. <laughs> I suppose commoners just can't understand. Uh? Excuse me? You see, well, you're not just wealthy, but obscenely rich. Physical capital is like dust. It just accumulates. Get in the way, really. It's just loose change. I won't miss it. 
On the other hand, having my precious time wasted by these by base ruffians like them is a serious loss. But I can buy that time back with coin. Why, I pay just as much as it takes. I'll play I'll bleh, I'll pay just as much as it takes. Buying time, literally. Precisely so. Why not give it a try if you're curious? Um, give what a try. Let fly with a great whooping wad of wealth. Yeah. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I'm just not in that big of a rush, honestly. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Truly. Have you never been out for a stroll and felt other pedestrians were in your way, nor ever? Well, sure. I guess a few times. <laughs> oh, you see. Then give it a try right now. I'm sure you'll feel the thrill of sending those human hurdles scattering. Sure, but I don't have that much cash to burn on a whim. Not to worry, I will be your financier this one time. As a special gift, you need focus only on enjoying the rush of flinging cash confetti. Okay, deal. If you're gonna pay for it, I'll give it a go. Press X while walking around the city to take a handful of your money and fling it into the air. Anyone nearby will flock to the cash and grab what they can. Keep in mind next time you're in a hurry. <coughs> Ladies. Huh? On narrow streets and alleys, you'll often find your way completely block, uh, blocked by punk e uh, punks eager for a fight. Walking around them simply isn't an option in this situation. Distracting them with a mountain of cash, however, is... They'll literally leap at the chance to fill their pockets. Give it a try and save yourself a headache. I think you mean save myself a payday. I'm just gonna... Alright, fine. Okay. Now simply strut past them while they're busy scrabbling over each other to pick it all up. Peace! By ju judiciously wasting money, you can buy your way out of most unnecessary conflicts. Keep in mind next time you're in a hurry. I wonder if this actually works on Mr. Shakedown. Probably not. Mm. Oh, truly a magnificent money blasting! For a moment, I completely forgot you were merely another uh, plebeian. Mm -hmm. Is that what being rich is like? Honestly, I can't say it feels very good to waste it like that. Perhaps. But there but aren't there times when you're far too hurried to be embroiled by petty squabbles of the underclass? That's not okay, yeah. Right? Really, whoever said time is money is an utter buffoon. Time is far more precious resource. It's finite. Fair enough, I can see a weird sort of logic to that. Then I've made my case. Take my advice. If you're ever in the danger of being dragged into a meaningless fight, just let loose a, with a heaping helping of legal tender. So you clearly loaded. But how'd you earn all that cash? Ho! Oh, I take it you caught a case of the money fever, hmm? Maybe. I'm just thinking it'd be convenient if there was a quick way to make some extra money. Common sense tells me that's crazy to wish for, but I might as well ask. Oh, but there is! Seriously? The very epitome of high risk, high, rever uh, high return. It's been my golden goose, and now I dine on Diamond for a Goss. It been... Head to Theater Square. If you're truly a man of ma means, you'll find your way there. What am I looking for? Oh, you'll know it when you see it. A paradise exclusively reserved for the upper echelons of wealth and taste. Though naturally, it isn't the only source of income. I'm quite the devious portfolio, or I have quite the, the, the uh, diverse portfolio. Or should I say, we put most of our capital to work in certain systems that give it a raise in considerable profits. If you wish to hear more about that as well, drop by Vincent. You'll find me there most of the time. Vincent, got it. This has to be the most stimulating use of my time. Ta ta. Tachimana may have new intel tomorrow, but that doesn't mean everything has to be over then. 
I should tuck away as much cash as I can now and ready for whatever comes. Is that the final way to make big money at Theater Square? It'll be worth a look. All right, might as well go see what it is. Huh? Yep, give me a second. All right, hold on. Hold on. Got this. Ah, there was a heat. Ah, couldn't get the heat off, but it still beat him, so I guess it's okay, I guess. The rich guy said I should go to Theater Square if I want to make big money. Hmm? I've been waiting all day for this. Excuse me, my good man. Heh. <laughs> right this way, sir. Heh. <laughs> Enjoy your stay. Where does that door go? What is this door? There's definitely something behind it. Sorry, pal. That's not open to you. I saw you let that uh, let a guy in. What's in there? Heh. <laughs> You'd think I'd come right out and say it. Well, let's just say it's a paradise for men. A place where dreams come true. A place where dreams come true. Yes, a real-life wonderland. Got your interest up? It does make me curious. What do I have to do, do to get in? Heh. <laughs> I'm a decider, actually. I say who comes in. You want in? You gotta win my approval. Huh? Alright. So what do I need to do to impress you? This place is a paradise for the wealthy. If you don't have the bread, you can't afford the dessert. I have to see if you got enough cash to make a splash. Not only that, but I want to see if you got the ball... Got the balls to do with it in style. You prove that to me, I'll let you in. You should now get to figure it out. A paradise for the wealthy? This is definitely the place that crazy rich guy was talking about. So I have to show the guy I have money to burn, and the willingness to burn it. Hmm, maybe if I did something like this? What do you think you're doing? Have you lost your mind? I'm just showing you I got cash to burn. I'm not afraid of setting it on fire. Wow, I never thought I'd see a guy literally toss money over the pa onto the pavement. You got a screw loose? I like the cut of your jib, though. You can come in. Right this way. What is this place? It's the official arena of the JCC, uh, Japan Catfight Club. Sexy little vixens scrap it out in the arena, filled with beauties and ugliness. The men bet big wages on the winner, and that's what this place is about. A feast for the eyes, an exciting chance to double the fun by making money laying bets. A pleasure palace for men, I call it, and that's what it is. Not exactly subtle, not exactly refined, but who cares? Not me. Oh, here. Take this back. It's yours. Jeez, I threw 10,000 onto the ground. What's this? The cash you burned. It was a real joy to watch it floating around, so I just scooped it all back up for you. Use it to have fun here, pal. Good luck to you. Uh, yeah. Cat fights, huh? Never expected to find that going on in Kamurocho. 
What a gaudy place. But I bet I can make some money here, even with the risks. It's worth a shot. Oh, Kiryu, so innocent. He can bash a dude's skull in, drop a motorcycle on their heads, but he is horrible when it comes to women. Cat fights are high risk, high, re high return, but if I play it right, it feels like I could turn a hefty profit quick. Got a new way of making big bucks, but what I really need now is some sleep. Time to rest up for tomorrow. All right. Uh, there's one on the way to the, on the way to home. So I'm just gonna stop the payphone here and call it a night. Uh, it has been quite a night. Let's save. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we are going to call it. Because we are already 10 minutes past the cutoff time, and I am actually starting to get pretty tired. <sighs> Alright, well, the plot thickens. And my options for making a lot of moolah are getting bigger. But that is going to have to wait till next week. Because it is time to call it a night. Uh, so, some things are going to be happening next week. Uh, I'm going to... Well, seeing as how we're done with Gears Tactics, and I'm probably never going to touch that game again unless people really want me to. Uh, Wednesday is going to be the Game Clearing Night, and Thursday is going to be Yakuza. And the reasoning behind that is the fact that Mario 3D... Uh, the Mario 3D Land game for the Switch is coming out on Friday, and I'm going to see if I can get uh, a couple of people from the Discord to join us, and we're going to just go through it, have some fun, and, you know, maybe make that into a new series. Uh, only other thing I can really make note of is the fact that uh, tomorrow might have a model kit building stream, so we're going to work on building the Lugia and the Gengar, and maybe a couple Ninjala streams sprinkled throughout the week. It's just going to depend on how I feel after work and such. But yeah. Uh, that is where we are going to end it off tonight, people. Let me see if there is anyone we can raid right now. Um, let me check the Discord to see if anyone's going live. Uh, let's see if you're live. Nope. Alright, let's try... No. Let's try you. And doesn't look like it... Oh, nope, yep, they are alive. Nice. Alright, we are going to go raid Solitario, who is currently playing through Skyrim right now. So we'll go send them some love. It looks like they're still early in the game, because it looked like they were still in Riverwood. Or, no, that's not Riverwood. I think it's one that, Although, I think it is actually one of the earlier towns. But yeah, we'll go raid him. We'll go give him some love. I will see you all possibly tomorrow for a model kit building stream. If not tomorrow, then Sunday, most definitely. All right. Good night, everybody. I am going to bed. Oh, my God. Car.